Hello, good morning. Still on to integral calculus. Calculus in general is a very wide and broad course which no teacher can ever cover the whole of its contents within a year. But what matters is getting the basic points that will guide you through other problems. So today we are going to look on to these five problems which are expressed in a product form. But in each of these five products, one function is expressed as a derivative of other function. So instead of applying integration by part, we are going to apply integration by algebraic substitution. So now let's start with the first one. The integral of x exponential x to the power of 2 with respect to x. So let u be equal to x squared. The derivative of u with respect to x is going to be 2x dx. dx is now going to be du divided by 2x if you divide both sides by 2x. Now let us plug this into our integration. This is now equal to x exponential u because we have let that to be equal to u. But dx now is going to be du divided by 2x. So now this x can take care of this x. So we can now factor 1 half outside. 1 over 2. This is equal to 1 over 2. The integral of exponential u du. The integral of exponential u is the same thing as exponential u. So this is the same thing as 1 over 2 exponential u but we have let u to be equal to x squared so this is equal to one half exponential x to the power of 2 plus the constant of integration c now let us look on to the second problem integral of x squared cos x to the power of 3 dx so let u be equal to this x cubed u equals to x cubed the derivative of u with respect to x du is now going to be 3x squared dx if you make dx the subject you are going to obtain du divided by 3x squared but what we have here, integral of x squared cos, the whole of this equal to u because we have let that to be equal to u. Then dx is now du divided by 3x squared. du divided by 3x squared. So that this x squared can cancel x squared. We can factor 1 over 3 outside. So we have 1 over 3, the integral of cos, cos u, with respect to u. In differential calculus, if you differentiate cos u, you are going to obtain minus sine u, but in integration, it is going to be sine u. So this is equal to 1 over 3 sine u. Let me plug everything back. We have u to be equal to x cubed. So we have x cubed plus the constant of integration. So this is equal to 1 over 3. Now moving to the tax problem. The integral of x multiplied by the root of 1 plus x squared dx. Let 1 plus x squared be equal to u because the derivative of the whole of this equal to x. So u now equals to 1 plus x squared. du will be equal to 2x dx. But dx is equal to du divided by 2x. So our integration becomes x root of um, u. This is u. But dx is 
du divided by 2x. So that this x cancel this x. Well, we have 1 over 2, which we can factor out, 1 over 2. Integral of, you can express this as an index form, u to the power of 1 over 2, du. This is equal to 1 over 2 times, this is going to be 1 half plus 1, which is equal to 3 over 2, divide by 3 over 2 plus the constant of integration but this can be transformed as this can be transformed as 1 over 2 multiplied by if you take the reciprocal of this you're going to obtain 2 over 3 multiplied by u to the power of 3 over 2 plus c this 2 cancel this 2, so we have 1 over 3 u, but our u is 1 plus x squared, so we have 1 plus x squared to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. 1 over 3 times the square root of 1 plus x squared to the power of 3 plus c. So this is the solution to this problem. Problem number four, the integral of x squared times three plus x cubed to the power of three over two with respect to x. Let u equal to three plus x cubed, three plus x cubed, so that du will be equal to three x squared dx. If you divide both sides by 3x squared, you're going to obtain dx equal to du divided by 3x squared. Plugging this back into our integration, this becomes x squared. The whole of this equal to u. We have u to the power of 3 over 2. But our dx is now du divided by 3x squared du divided by 3x squared x squared cancel x squared we can factor out 1 over 3 this is 1 over 3 uh, the integral of u to the power of 3 over 2 with respect to u this is equal to 1 over 3 times if you add 1 to the exponent you're going to obtain u to the power of 5 over 2 if you take the reciprocal of that, you have to multiply by 2 over 5, which is the same thing as dividing this by 5 over 2, plus the constant c. This time this is equal to 2 over 15. u is equal to 3 plus x cubed. 3 plus x cubed to the power of 5 over 2 plus the constant 